the view of Pearl Harbor on the 75th anniversary of the attack there. And we want to end tonight with the story of one of the servicemen who survived that day. In the seven decades plus since then, he never went back to the site. But now, in his 90s, he's finally decided to make his return. And our Joe Fryer takes us along with him. At 95 years old, Beverly Clyde Wilbur, oh, yeah. better known as BC, still owns a racehorse. Come on. Here in his family's stable, he finds peace. 75 years after his life was suddenly plunged into war. Wilborn was just 20 years old that day, serving aboard the USS Maryland when the bombing at Pearl Harbor started. Battleship Maryland on fire and the Oklahoma has capsized. You just one hadn't done what he was trying to do. The fear wasn't there, but you could see what was going on and the bodies in the water. And, oh. He's still haunted by what he saw and only recently started talking about the war. That's why this survivor, a decorated Navy veteran, never went back to Pearl Harbor until now. Encouraged by his family, Wilborn has finally returned to Hawaii. He makes his way to the heart of Pearl Harbor in awe of the massive USS Missouri and all the tributes to those who lost their lives. You know, over the years, it just seemed too sad to get here. Even after 75 years, it's still not easy, is it? No, gosh, no, you can't uh, get it out of your mind. Hey, how are you? With oh, these veterans now in their 90s or even older, this is considered the last major gathering of Pearl Harbor survivors. It's quite an honor. Yeah, for me. Something not lost on the current commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. People talk about uh, once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. This, is, in many ways, is a last-of-a-lifetime opportunity. So, for the Admiral, it's important to spend as much time as possible with these humble survivors. You woke up the morning of uh, December 7th, just like everyday sailors, but you retired that night as heroes. Different generations bonded by their common service and unwavering respect. Joe Fryer, NBC News, Honolulu. That so, I just stopped it now, but...